Oh man, um, I feel like the first one he kind of flopped, and the second one I ain't put my hands in his face, so I don't know where they had called that from. So I tried to stay away from the quarterback. <laughs> after that, after I got there, this was a line of scrimmage game. Oh yes, sir. I feel like we uh, dominate our front seven. Um, and we knew then coming in the game we had to dominate our front front seven, and I knew that and then it was going to take rest of the whole game if we dominate and set up for our back ends to make plays. You guys spent a lot of last year in trouble with defense having stand up in the fourth quarter. How does it feel that like you lose all the guys you lost in the valley? You come out here and do it again. Oh, we knew coming in this game it was going to be a defensive game. We knew we had a. Um, uh, create momentum for the game to get the offense going. So we knew coming in th through this week that was going to be a tough, tough team on that side of defense. So we knew our defense had to win the side. What kind of statement does it make about Clemson? Oh, it felt great to make a statement, man. I mean, we got a lot of people doubting us still. I mean, still probably after this game, but we we know who we need to be and what we got for it, and, and looking forward until uh, Notre Dame. What were the feelings like after the after they had that big hundred yard kick return? What was the sideline like? Oh man, we just said we stayed, we stayed positive. We stayed positive. We knew we hit, just had to come back and um, had um, had our offense uh, come back. And I knew if we get to uh, had a, a defense uh, win the game, we knew we had a chance to win the game. And Kevin Dodd came up with a big sack, so that was great. How good does it feel to hold him to 19 rushing yards today? Oh, it felt great. We we came in the game trying to stop uh, coming in and stopping the run because that's that's what they like to do is stop the run. If, if we stop the run, it, everything else would take care of the place. Do you feel like those guys could block you? Because it didn't look like it's in the press box. Oh, no, sir. I mean, I, I had a lot of one-on-one uh, -on -one matchup with the freshmen. I knew I was coming in long. I was going to try to take advantage of that. And then, and then I, oh, this is my best for trying to take advantage of that all uh, uh, week. That, that second sack, that was, you just, I mean, that was like the textbook move. You just went right around him and just nailed the quarterback. How good did that one feel? Oh, that felt great. Man. I knew I had to make a play uh, at the time for a game because that was really kind of going away from me the first half. And that's the first time I've been in that feeling like they're going away from me. But I knew then, I knew my time was coming. I knew I had to make a play. Were you surprised with those rough in the basketball? I mean, it didn't look like too bad to me. Oh, yeah, I was surprised, man. Especially especially on the first one, he kind of flopped. And the second one, he said I put my hands in his face. So I, I mean, after that, I just didn't want to touch him no more unless I had a clean shot on him. What's it like to get the first road victory going into ACC? Oh, it felt great. We knew coming in we had to be the road dogs, and that's what Coach uh, Venables preached, road dogs. And, and, and we knew we had to uh, set the tempo. I mean, we knew we had a lot of eyes on us watching it, us because it's a Thursday night game, and it felt great to get the first road win. What do y'all got to do to get ready for that game? Oh, preparation. Um, we got to come in here, come in, come back in here on Sunday and get ready. We, not, we got a long time to prepare for them, so I feel like we're going to be ready for them. Does that extra time help y'all? Oh, yeah, it, it helped us a lot. Uh, me, I, I've been uh, looking at uh, the tackle I'm going against over the summer a lot. So I've been having kind of tips because uh, he's he one of the best tacklers in the nation. So I feel like i got to come in with my A game. Were you surprised at how much time ran off the clock after Dodd sack without them snapping the ball? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, it was crazy. I thought they was going to have a chance to get another uh, playoff. But when the time ran off, I knew then it was, it was great. What, what, what's going through your mind when you see Jadar intercept the ball? Oh, game over. Uh, just get down. Just get down. Don't, don't try to uh, no no turnover at the time. Kevin says that it's not really you against him. It's North Carolina South Carolina rivalry. Oh yeah, we, we, yeah, we got a big rival before coming in. We try to compete with the uh, North Carolina dudes, and because they always say North Carolina better than South Carolina in football, <laughs> and we trying to prove them wrong that South Carolina better. So that's that's what we uh, battle against them. Who leads season. after three games? Sir. Who leads after three games? Oh, uh, South Carolina. Same line, Brazil. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, you've been waiting a couple of years to, to really be, I guess, the guy. And then uh, you kind of showed tonight that you're more than running for it. What, what does it mean to perform like you did tonight in the game? Oh, I mean, I feel great. I feel like I had a, um, a lot of eyes on me. They wanted to see me play. Uh, I feel like I just just took my preparation and, and came in the game and was ready to play. All right, guys, we got to get out of here. But thanks, you.